What's up, everybody? Welcome to Bad Melee Podcast. We got a special guest today. His name's Scott, and uh, he plays Sheik. So you have literally no idea who he is. So he's obviously not that special. You're right. He's not special. So yeah, today we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the West Balls and Left and Beef because Griffin has opinions on it, and I have opinions on it, and I've arranged a sort of I have a clipboard. I have mine. I actually don't have notes at all. But um, Griffin, you think that it's the dumbest. I don't no I don't have an opinion. I have an opinion on everyone else's opinions. That's completely different. I'm at like a secondary level. Fair enough. <laughs> what? Okay, so like let's give it a little give it a little okay. backstory just in case. So the backstory for the the people who have just like put their heads in the ground is uh I watched one tournament. <laughs> so no, cuz it's everywhere. You couldn't go on Twitter. Yeah, on I, I mean I just mean in the sense of like the climax but go on oh yeah oh i love anyway um, <laughs> good word joyce uh so b6 west Wells beats leffen winter semis west Wells goes leffen fucking sucks and then says a bunch of other tweets with awful grammar that were hilarious yeah and leffen goes i'll win in losers and then said nothing else and everyone was like yeah what west Wells <laughs> gets the losers finals uh west Wells and leffen play again West Balls goes Samus. Game one gets shit fucked. Uh, everyone laughs really hard. Game two, West Balls loses a close game. Game three, West Balls loses a close game. Typically, when someone sandbags game one and then loses the next two games, they go, well, that was a dumb fucking thing you just did. <laughs> you just lost a lot of money, and you could have you know, gotten first, but instead you played Samus. But instead... You go onto Twitter, you go onto Reddit, and people are like, Leffen may have won the set, but I think we know who really won deep down. <laughs> and that's such a weird thought to me, that you lose a $1,000 and the chance to finally take a set off of Armada, but you're the winner because you played Samus? I don't... Don't some- fucking act like you don't know... Why no, it was I dang. Don't. It's <laughs> not. But it's not. <laughs> all right. It's not at all. all right. Okay. Okay. Number one, the execution <laughs> was shit. No. It would be one thing if he like practiced the Samus and made it respectable. He went Samus and then it was like the fucking West Balls in his mind was like, wait, hold on. What do people hate left and for? Uh it's fucking he's Swedish. No, he's no, kinda no, and he's kind He's kind of androgynous. Oh, he loses <laughs> Samus all the time. I'll play Samus. That's a great idea. And then he picks Samus, goes to, strikes to FD, and yeah. then just he's like, yeah, I'm playing Samus. And then like 12 seconds and he's like, oh, shit, now what? So he just sat and fucking taunted for two and a half minutes. Right. But, okay, Anthony, because I'm not the, I'm not the, the instigator here. You are. You're the person with the opinion. Why is it amazing? Explain to me how it's amazing. I'll explain why it's amazing. Okay, so and this is sort of this is coming from my personal vantage, right? I don't speak for Reddit, and I don't speak for the, all the fucking cucks that like to say he was a hero in our hearts. Whatever. No, you don't get to. You don't get to create a dichotomy because in no, this I just want to say you it, are it, the cuck. I I am the cuck, but I just want to say like I what a, how I'm about to explain <laughs> this. Quote that one. <laughs> how I'm about to explain this pertains to my specific vantage okay. as a person. So okay. maybe these people share this idea, okay. but here's here's my thing. I believe that everything is just this big joke, this cosmic joke. Everything is an accident. The fact that we're here talking to each other through the internet power and everything, everything, it's all it's 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 not really supposed to be. It's not Well, so- I'm just going to say right now okay. you have a very different vantage seeing as how I'm fairly certain the 16-year-olds on Reddit have no idea what nihilism is. Anyways, <laughs> fair enough. Now, what because I I sort of believe this idea when I see someone taking like West Balls he he took this place in the tournament and he made a fucking joke out of all of it and it, it in this like time where we're supposed to like respect organizations and like it's like in baseball. It, it it would have been the same if a pitcher went up for a whole inning and just like waved his dick and just like and just rolled the ball on the ground. It's 
stop. As, as, as a baseball and, fan, as a baseball the inning fan, doesn't that happens because he's roll. He's like played with his dick for a certain amount of time. He's got to throw pitches eventually. Yeah, but he right. So he only does it for an inning. Maybe it's the ninth inning. Maybe it's the inning he's supposed to be pitching well. But the batter over <laughs> over on the other side is a huge asshole, and he walks them, and the bases are loaded, and they get a run, and the other team wins because of it. Let's just say that's the situation. What I'm saying is, I would respect that pitcher. Because he's taking the whole organization that the whole world has decided, yes, this is the way things should be. And he's just saying, fuck it, dude. Here's my dick, bro. Look. Like, that is just something that you know what? You're, you I know resonate what very right personally now? with. You are injecting meaning into something that isn't there. Okay, this okay. is like, no, no, no. Hold, listen, listen. You said don't talk over each other. <laughs> I'm not this done. Is like, this is like, I'm not done. I'm only Look getting on. started. This is like <laughs> when you watch those videos of like those performance art tropes who, or troops or whatever, who like their performance art is getting 26 people naked in a circle and then they thumb each other's assholes. This is so this, different. <laughs> no, it's not because what you're doing is you're injecting no. meaning okay. into Westwell's thing. Like the people in the comment section are like, "This is a very good display of the effects that fucking uh, fascist regimes." No, have no, no, it's on not the, that the deep. Because it's, it's it doesn't have to pertain to any sort of tangible political or any sort of like idea, except the fact that Westwell's is shitting in the face of an organized event but and that's not what he was doing it though. is exactly what he was doing it doesn't that wasn't matter the intent <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't know it, it doesn't matter because it, I, I feel like it was his intent because he it wasn't in a fucking local with 12 people in it because he had this opportunity where everyone expects him to like big up and 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 like fucking try his best and fuck and shoot, he's like and shoot he's like, his lasers you know what fuck all of you dude i'm gonna for play samus game. and taunt and dash dance and it's gonna be but really he only fun. did it for a game i'd get what you were saying if he did it for the right. entire and, set and, where he's like i beat you i don't give a shit i'm playing samus. right that makes sense I and so understand. that's a good point and the the, the key to all of this is the fact that he 3 0 Leffen beforehand. Or didn't 3 0 4 0, whatever you want to call it. 3 1. Oh my god, do not say 4 0. I'm that's just, such, I'm just saying. But, that's but such, oh, that's he, not he, how the game works. I know, I get it. it. It's funny though. But like, he, he beat him handily already. So that alone validated his whole future actions. I feel like that's the issue though, is that he beat him. And I feel like the problem here is that like. When he, I don't know, Leffen talked about it a little bit, and I thought it was interesting. Like, he, he talks about, he's like, oh, I got the download, and you switched a character, and blah, 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 Which blah. Which is, you know, I would have said that, too, if that happened. Yeah, and I like that, that's what I feel like, too, is, like, I guess you kind of have to. You defer that if you do what Weston Dennis does. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like it was a really interesting situation. I don't have as strong an opinion as these two gentlemen. <laughs> I, but do you, I wish I didn't have a strong, but, no, okay. okay problem, that, that's, I all right, have, all I'm saying is that's, when I saw Let West Balls do that shit, I saw the face of... Of a man who says "fuck the police," and I because I I don't know why, but my personality is a being. Yeah, exactly. resonates with well, that okay. idea. All right, you know I will agree with you in the sense that if you were looking at it from like a fucking like nihilist absurdist point of view, where it's like there is no intrinsic <laughs> within the universe, I get it. But the difference are the people who truly believe that it was worth playing Samus. The, like the one thousand dollar loss, and the fact that Leffen reset the bracket and got a three zero was worth playing Samus. I think it was. I think it was. How? How is that? Because worth it, it just that was. Because it? It, it, it doesn't. All the other stuff. It means that West Balls had enough conviction to to be a dickhead to this person rather than strive for something and that that is so genuine that's what we were talking about last time remember how it's like if you're gonna hate hate with your own heart and your own feeling <laughs> west balls is doing that dude no wait that's yeah, not I hating with like conviction that's being a meme that like is conviction split. dude memeing <laughs> is conviction <laughs> oh, that's, that's so definitely much. a part where we differ i think uh <laughs> i think griffin's not a big memer but i i, I understand oh Obviously, my god weird, <laughs> this this weird, is the root cause okay i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna dance around this <laughs> <laughs> fucking god damn it the root cause of this is my hatred for <laughs> all <laughs> things memeing there it is that's, dude that is there it fucking is the answer we were all looking for <laughs> if you go and look at my twitter 
the moment that West Balls lost, the thing I tweeted was live by the meme, die by the meme. And that's exactly Hell yeah. It. And that's Hell yeah. So mad. That's it. Life model. You are fucking, you're playing to be a meme rather than playing to win the game. Fucking goddamn right. Like, I respect, you don't, you have no idea how much I respect that. And this, I think, is where we just fundamentally, like, Yeah, this is like, see this is like, if you put the most, like, not pro-choice, like, pro-abortion <laughs> yeah. against, like, a fucking, just like, a Southern Baptist, black, 85-year-old preacher. Like, there is Weird. no middle ground. We will never agree. It's, sometimes <laughs> the memes gotta split us up, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> That that'll be the riff that drives this one. <laughs> this, this, when the Bad Daily podcast goes down, it's because of the memes. It's because of the memes, oh dude. God. Live by the memes, die by the memes, bro. To God to, bless. The, to the end. Scotty, <laughs> where how do you, how do you feel? How do you feel? Well, what are your thoughts? As one of Colorado's resident chic players, that no one knows about, and non memer, I am like that. I am the opposite of catfish. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> I don't give oh, a fuck you about, must, about you must have amazing skin. I give no shit about lasagna hours. I sh- I shower, um, dude. Oh my but, uh, god! Wow, we're yeah. just sort of caught on a roast okay. cast again. <laughs> so we're okay. Hold on, it's, we're talking about. Me I was just kidding. Balls. Anyway, but the point it's is, is I thought I thought it was brilliant. We're, I thought it was brilliant. As someone who who would be like, no, that was lame. No, he 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 bopped the boy. He talked to shit. And he was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna give him my DK. I'm gonna give him <laughs> the fucking shit tier Samus that I have. The Samus that I can't even play. Yeah, and literally. and he was willing to do it. And you know what? He might have lost the rest of the games, but he gave us some of the hypest little moments of of well, I think another fundamental Samus. disagreement that we're having is the fact that winning in winners is comparable to winning slash lose or winning slash losing in winners is comparable to winning slash losing in losers. And to me, that's so absolutely not true like obviously well, it, no, I don't it is he cared it's, about the tournament though yeah. I, I feel like he was he was at such a point and he and this is what makes that's it cool he's like i'm at i'm at fucking b6 and i, I don't care that's I don't not care. cool to me though if you already don't give a shit and you just express not giving a shit that's not cool if you like gave a shit but still like put an actual disrespect which is what that was that was disrespect and i applaud him for the first time and god knows how long actually doing a disrespectful thing rather than just like being a ganon player who uses a down air <laughs> right god, or up tilt like what in the hell is disrespectful <laughs> about hitting one guy uh, but anyway just saying <laughs> but it's like and i i respect that aspect of it but i i don't know i don't think that it's like worth being like woo and like whistling and cheering and like crying over the fact that someone giving just birth kinda, multiple just someone of basically just threw the first game and then but uh, all right I, Me- I, melee okay, needs stories another he did, it needs a story but I don't think that was like here's that's the like thing a, the that's reason, a lack of a story the reason why it works is because he beat Leffen before and he he was he is good enough to get to to be able to play Leffen for third place. Like, he earned that BM. It wasn't just some shitter. It wasn't Leffen's ego getting four-stocked by actually Leffen, whatever <laughs> tournament that happened. Shouts out to that. That was a big, big house. house. It was a guy who beat him and then said, suck my dick, fam. <laughs> but he only did it for a game. And then, okay, this, this is the fact he was playing his fucking hardest games two and three and lost both of them. And that's another problem I have, is people are just completely looking past the fact that if that started, if game one started like that, Leffen would be up 2-0 and probably win the set. I, I have something to say about that. If you put Leffen in the same spot, if, if you did the same thing, and he was losing that, he would just SD'd and, and, ki- and quit and killed himself right there. And that would have that would have made it lame. But no, Weston, motherfucking Dennis, stuck through it. <laughs> I don't know, he wouldn't have SD'd any of those, because it, it was like last hit, last stock every game. Leffen's tilt master, dude. Watch him versus M2K the last like three times I'll play, and he's just like, uh. Or like Mango at, at press too, start. Man. God, dude, he was like, you know, that was a rough. That was a good one. I like that because he because just... he unplugs and gets mad and then comes back to Mango. He's like, hey, Mango game. It's like, oh, yeah, that's that's the kind of solo I would imagine Anthony would have playing against. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> It'd be like for later. <laughs> no, I said playing against not Scotty. Yeah, exactly. It's normal human being, average Joe. I just again, fundamentally. I'm I'm vehemently against memes. I think they're stupid. I think they're like, okay, <laughs> if you like look at politics, people are like immigration is the biggest issue. 
the economy is the biggest issue. If I were in the Super Smash Brothers primary for the North American scene, let's the make exit that happen. polls when they show what is your biggest concern, mine would be memes. Absolutely, you would, you would be I, you would be obliterated. Melee Hill would lobby against you. So I cannot oh think of a yeah, there, there would be some strong protest outside your building because memes are the root cause of every single issue facing traditional like this is some political issue right now. like if you go and look at like the counter-strike community the the fucking like the memes about certain players being bad and like the memes about north america it's just like a self-fulfilling prophecy where they it's like a feedback loop where it constantly just fucking and it makes things worse and it, exa- it exasperates further issues and because now what, what what this has done is because I'm not just looking at this in a vacuum. I'm looking towards the future. What this has done has opened up a can of worms for every single motherfucker who's like, I don't think I'm going to win or I don't want to win or I don't really care to just or do something. Or I already some, won. Or I already won. It doesn't matter because I'm not like pro and I think he's fucking stupid and I just wish he could say words like a normal human being and then maybe I'd like him. But uh, did, can we talk about also the end of that? It was like the most awkward. Like what? The yeah, that was, was really um, weird. I don't. Yeah, know. Like, was that was other, something. They're like, I was. Uh, was just I literally I said awkward. out loud to myself, "Either fuck or punch each other." Like <laughs> that's. that's I, basically I let out one of those audible like cringe groans, like oh, like ah, I it's feel just, it ah, it's in my heart. That was weird. It, I definitely agree with you on that. It was like I, I just was like I said, this was like it felt like genuine anger being like disguised as like oh you're dummy and it was like why are you two being like this <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a dumb, if this is like a legitimate beef that i cared about this has possibly been the stupidest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> like can we just like go back into it's just like it's about a money match that happened because west Wells wanted to piggyback off s fat being stupid as shit and playing up to sponsors and then it escalated into West Falls calling Leffen ugly and saying Fox carries him and Leffen saying that West Balls is financially irresponsible and should get a financial planner and then they're playing Samus and pushing each other on stage and it's just so fucking dumb actually you, you know what I think would have put a bow on everything if like West Balls like just shoved Leffen like a real like a man's show <laughs> that's what I'm saying. that would have been it's- sick Double hand, like yeah. um, if, <laughs> if you you said earlier how you thought that was like an exemplification of what we talked about last week, which is that if you're gonna hate, actually hate. That wasn't hate. That was like right, but physical contact was, scares nerds. No, so. I'm not saying punching. I don't say I'm not saying punch each other. But it was basically like <laughs> they just trade a fist. <laughs> with just like these passive aggressive laughs and smiles and refusing to handshake and like it's in his mind. Yeah, but th- I mean, within the within the box say, of melee, that like has to be that way, unless you're actually going to throw hands. You know what I mean? Like, it's just I'm not saying, no. I don't think so. I think if you are going on Twitter and saying someone's a fucking retard or fucking dumb or they fucking suck or they should just fuck them or something to where it's like getting personal, don't fucking don't fist bump. I don't. That's stupid. That's what I liked about Leffen, the refusing. I did enjoy that because like <laughs> if you two are gonna go at this. And just like fucking... he was going for a high five. Let's go over that. Like, who the hell is like? No, I think that was dude. No, it, because I think what it was. I don't think he was doing either. It's kind of like how when you're doing the the cool '80s guy thing, where you put out your hand shake and then. Oh, that was his plan, huh? That's no, no, no. I don't think he was trying to do that. I think it's he wanted to show that he wasn't going to fist bump him, but you can't do that with a fist. Like, you can't take your fist and then punch yourself in the face, which would be, like, the equivalent of, like... That would have been pretty sweet, though. No, you know what you can do if you're wearing a watch? You go for the fist bump and then just pull back and look at your watch. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be sick. If anyone wears a watch and they get on stream and that opportunity comes up, you should totally do that. And you should definitely have bad melee as your uh, sponsor because you know how it goes we got that we got that ad revenue we'll get you that four dollars that we <laughs> you guys gave all four of those dollars. it can get you into half a tournament yeah yeah, yeah. We got palpable funds here all right a oh, yeah. quarter of a mayhem like i don't even i don't want to say that i hated it so much as like people I, freak the fuck out i don't and, like that either uh, I, I i am with you in that i hate people and reddit and all that shit and i hate when people are jovial together i, I just don't like it so i i'm with you there like you fucking it's it's, I will, it's tiring man also another <laughs> I, thing is oh go ahead go ahead go ahead i will say one thing like 
in the melee community, all the beef is on Twitter. And I mean, like, there's like the Joey Westball's like storylines and like all the beef. But this is like one of the first times it's been like, besides just a no handshake or a head shake, this is like the first time it's been like palpable. Yeah, realized, and like in yeah. person, like a display of like, I dislike you to the point where I'm willing to give up a grand or just be flip you off mid set. Like, that's not something that happens in the melee community. Oh, to clear up confusion, there was no... Actually, I wish he flipped him off. That would have been amazing. He was actually holding up three, and it was just a shitty camera angle. I, yeah. yeah, I remember Someone seeing did that. The zoom I, in. Like, yeah. I wish he flipped him off. But it's still like WWE kind of like in, yeah. like in play taunts, but it was at like the highest level no, of the believe tournament. Believe me, I, I enjoy the disrespect more than anyone, but I don't... Oh God, I just... Because if you really wanted to like make them feel like a piece of shit... like. Do you remember game two when West Wells gets the zero to death and then oh. does the, the hacked money yeah, yeah. like it's over like Undertaker? That was, Undertaker. <laughs> that was like so much more like putting yeah. left and yeah. down than that any embodiment sh- of just like sam- the yeah feeling you get from that. Yeah, habit. yeah, baby. I like that too. But I I said I'm That's, not like I'm not taking okay. a side on this, I but think, there were some really lame parts to the left and the way that ended, and there were some good parts to it, you know. I, I've got two more things to say and then we'll move on. God, uh, dude, I th- Dennis consuming our thoughts. He's got to be on this yes. podcast. Okay, we're putting a fucking. We are putting a blockade. Moratorium. On Moratorium. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like not allowed anymore. I don't care if Westwell's like fucking just shoots somebody. Takes, <laughs> like, if, wins every turn. I don't care if he. In one tournament, he can have sex with Tafokins on the stream, <laughs> literally murder someone, and then win the tournament. We're not I, talking about that shit. No, absolutely we're not. not, not, an not ounce, you DM so. us if you want to discuss that. <laughs> but. Uh, I think I think I've finally come to like clarificate or clear in my own thoughts about it. Cool. I think my issue is number one the memeiness of it, but number two the fact that I just so disagree with the idea that it's more disrespectful to play Samus and then get three would than it is to like play as hard as you can and do the throat cutting and make them feel like a piece of shit with your play than it is with like twitter and memes that's i think that's what it is fair enough and i have one more one more question for you if yeah. west balls would have played the samus lost like he did and then destroyed leffen would that would have been that would have been in in your mind would you have been like hell yeah yeah i think i would have i think i would have okay all right fair enough anybody else want to see the samus take a game god damn it dude <laughs> That would have I been. was like, I was in. in I my was heart like, of does heart, he have was a like, Samus? Exactly. He can't do this I, for like a I second like, of me. I, I was like, a, maybe he practiced this. I had a <laughs> thought for Dennis. a second, and then I remembered that Leffen like cleanly fucked up Esam, and I was like, nah, it's not happening. Yeah. Um, last thing though, I think another my last last issue, <laughs> swear to God, is the <laughs> fact that I refuse to believe Leffen is the only fucking person in the entire Super Smash Brothers scene in the world that people want to have this beef over. Literally the only reason it's with Leffen is because it's it's cool to just fuck with him at this point. Well, I mean, Leffen does not make it easy to love him, just for the record, all right? No, I'm not saying it, but... (laughs) I fuck... It's so annoying to me how every single fucking person just kind of hops on because they want their, like, 15 seconds with it, so they can get... the Oakland Raiders of Melee, dude. Deal with it. (laughs) No, clarification. He's Oakland Raiders, like, two decades ago, because (laughs) being the shit out of the Oakland Raiders, well, give it a couple years, but... No, no, it's... Baby, ACDC, I believe in the... No, it's it's just the fact that it's cool to hate him. The Raiders blow. As a Raiders fan, people still live in college, like, oh, yeah, we hate the Raiders. I'm like, dude... They're literally like pixies compared to you. Like, what? Oh, why? Why do you care? <laughs> You're the Broncos. Uh, but, man, I seriously, like, it's just, it's a meal ticket at this point is all that it is. Yeah, I, it's, you know, I agree with that. It's, it's very, it's very cut and, cut and dry almost, a boiler. Yeah, it's, it's lazy. Like, every single day I just fucking, I expect some other person to try. And, like, people still like trying to get on him about it and it's like dude like i agree but it's just boring yeah, like, yeah it's Leffin, obviously not Leffin, boring let's the- just say this out loud Leffen inherently like the way he hates and the way he does things i just feel like it's very boring to watch well, he, like, well he did, no he does it he does it too like he feeds into it because he also stands to benefit from it like i'm not well, that's what again i mean it, not- just the whole situation to me has never really been that interesting i've never really been like oh man hate left and hope he loses like i don't like him i think he's very disgusting but i just think like the way that he handles himself <laughs> it's very just like boring <laughs> yeah i don't hate Leffen, but i don't like him and he's disgusting <laughs> 
I mean, I'm not I just going to go out of my way and be like, dude, I can't wait to see what Weston Den is trash. The fact that he exists well, is just, like, just he has fan base, on like day. People that support a guy who's just very rude and blatant. Like, I don't know. He doesn't he seem like a friendly like, fella. That's what I'm saying. It's a meme. Leffin's like, a douchebag. Yeah, it's a meme. Smalls is a fucking... That's a bad meme. You know what, Griffin? There are bad memes, dude, but there are dank memes, too. It's not all fucking cherries and roses and puppies and sunshine, bro. It's meme land. <laughs> There's a grace period for it where things can... And I'm not going to fucking call it dank. Things can be good. <laughs> okay? They could be fun and enjoyable. They be dank, too, while we're at it. <laughs> Actually, there's half lives to it, where each like fucking week, where they carry on the like fucking my B, or they go in the Agreed. the fucking go to the doctor or circus music. Each week, it divides and it gets more shitty. Agreed. Like, yeah, it's you know whatever. It's just a lot. This it's a lot of like, Please, people, if you're looking to start a beef, make it with someone not named Leffen. It's just fucking cliche and boring. It now, is. that's a good way to put it. It's cliche. Okay. I agree. We should all move on from th- – I think this was the apex of this whole thing happening, and now we're coming down on the chart. Anyway, uh, I brought Scott on because uh, Scott is someone – when I started the Melee scene in our small town in uh, Colorado um, about a year and a half ago, Scott was the only person that could, uh, could you know, beat me. Um, and since then, we've developed a sort of – a strong bond – and a strong symbiotic relationship friendship but also a rivalry um and so with that comes many stories of me and scott just playing <laughs> video games together and most of them are just about me getting really mad at <laughs> at the video game so i don't know what did you want to uh what specifically did you want to take our listeners on a on a journey through you know i just wanted to start history. to say it was like very innocent like how Anthony and I met, he posted on like our group things like, "Hey, PM slash melee, uh, best guy in junction, I'll wreck you." I then beat him with Wolf and PM by only F smashing. <laughs> right, literally just spamming forward smash. Got literally lot, only F smashing. Yeah, still do it now to this day. Beautiful, but uh, wolf. you know we still played a lot more and it never got salty. And then things really, really took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Things did get salty. So what I started doing was uh, hosting little weeklies uh, at the game club at the college that we went to. I was graduated already. But um, I would host little PM weeklies for the first uh, semester. And it was really fun. And everyone would have a lot of fun. And it was no like charge or anything. But <laughs> there was a bracket. And there was winners and losers and all that shit. And so what it, what would always happen, it was me and Scott in uh, in finals. And he played Diddy at the time. And this was the first controller I ever broke uh, was when I played Falco. <laughs> and, uh, the fact that there are multiple. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just kept fucking dash attacking. All he did was dash attack and throw bananas. And I couldn't figure it out because I'm just a dumb idiot who plays Falco and doesn't know how to adapt or do anything. So I think I, I wrote an article about that. Yeah, you did. And that, that was actually a very <laughs> eye-opening article for me. And uh, and so I lost, and I remember I just threw my controller down really hard, and I broke the the, the stick box. I think maybe I could still fix it, but maybe not. I, I still have it. But, yeah, so I, I toasted that controller. And ever since then, I was like, fucking Scott, dude, all you do is F-Smash, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. And I think this is not like a new thing. I think everybody sort of knows someone that, they, that either says they F-Smash a lot or says that someone else has matches a lot. Shouts out, Stephen Wu. Stephen Wu. Riverside. Stephen Wu, looking the at God. You. Uh, I've given him a lot of money in money matches over the years. Or not over the years, over the months. But yeah, <laughs> so I mean, that's the sort of back story. But um, yeah, what it, what specifically though? Like I'm trying uh, to think, think of like something funny that happened. one of the good ones is Anthony, Anthony got a little bonus from one of his paychecks. And he was like, you know what? $100, $100 bonus pot for this oh, tournament. Yeah. $5 I, buy-in. I just wanted um, everybody to like play for real. And uh, so I put a hundred dollars into a pot uh, for this like, like fifteen man tournament, and uh, and so we play, and obviously I, I paid out like sixty forty or sixty thirty ten or whatever, and uh, I made it so that if I won first, I would only lose like two dollars, and uh, so I I like it's me and Scott in finals, and uh, I, I I'm on winner side. And he's, he's on winner's side because I lost to a Zelda player that I shouldn't have lost to. Because I was, I, was, <laughs> I, was, go. I was going all Falcon because I just I was, I had the heart of a champion. And my Falco at that time could probably have beaten Scott. But I was like, fuck you, dude. I'm going to play Falcon and win because I'm sick and dank. And uh, 
I like my memes. And I lost. <laughs> and he uh, good. quit out of one game. And just so you know, this is the beginning of my march. Did I, I don't remember idiot. any of this, by the way. It's all a rage to me. Did I quit I was out? Playing, rage. Did I quit I was out? playing Marth. I was playing Marth, and I beat him one game. I look at him, he stays. I beat him again. And then I'm like, okay, he's going to go Falco. No, he goes Falcon again, takes me to Green Hill Zone again. Same thing. I'm two stocks up. He just quits out. Um, doesn't talk to me. Like, I sit there. 20 minutes later, he hands me my money. I go home. Um, and that that was my day. Scott's poor, too. He doesn't work. He, he refuses that, to get a job because he's lazy. So it was actually a lot of money for him. For me, it was, yeah, like, I, uh, you I, know, whatever. I, make, I, used to, I used to make all my money off of Anthony. Uh, I can't do that anymore. And tacos. But, you know shoes <laughs> how does it make you feel and that if you just beat him consistently you could have made fun of him for literally everything like you're poor he still does no you're no it, it, this changes not. he still but does you still he have still that does. because what? it matters so much to him that it doesn't fucking matter that like you know you you're unemployed you don't worry whatever you're poor because he can just be like, yeah, what's uh, what's our set history, Anthony? That's a, and he's just like, oh, that's like exactly a cartoon it. character. Like, the, comes I, in. I've told Scott that, like, I've said, dude, nothing matters besides who wins and who loses. That is literally <laughs> all that matters between that's two people who play video games. That's the type of shit you see games. in, like, the fucking The Next Doc where Mango and Armada, they're doing, like, a split screen talking about, like, how much The Next Evo were, like, $26,000 are on the line. Instead, you're talking about a nine-man local. <laughs> No, it's not even nine man levels. But fuck Colorado. Five dollar money matches in hotel rooms. I've seen multiple good (laughs) towns. And like they're the most intense sets of the weekend. Like they are taco, so matches. taco matches get very big, but oh uh, god! All <laughs> right, so taco matches. When we went to Evo, I, I came back because I planned on moving out to LA after Evo <clears throat> for unrelated stuff. Um, to just move and, and get a different job and change stuff. So after Evo, I Scott's. Uh, grandma's house is in paris and it's currently unoccupied paris is right near riverside so it's in very deserty california and so um i he's like dude just stay with me just stay with me for as long as you need and like you know do la and figure out where to live and work and whatever i'm like okay sick so when i wasn't in los angeles city like looking for jobs and sort of just exploring the city and whatever we were playing in his uh, grandma's house in paris which was just us deadly hot no AC, just literally me and him with our shirts off, just like sweating, playing Marth Falco for like hours and hours on end. It was actually, I think, if you go to hell and like you used to play Melee in your human life, that's what it would be like. And so that was a big part of my summer was just playing these sweaty homoerotic uh, <laughs> matches with Scott. And Multiple novels the best time. come out. And there was this uh, this taco place down the it was it wasn't down the street it was a little bit of a drive but it was in Paris and had these really fucking dank ass tacos and they cost a, a buck no taxes shouts out um, and so we would go there because we were you know Scott's poor and I was trying to save money so <laughs> we would go and. Uh, <laughs> And just get these tacos. And so what developed was a taco match system where we would play best of fives and best of threes um, for tacos, gen- like dollars, but they would be paid in tacos at the taco place. It was way better. Uh, it was way better. I lost a lot of tacos, but it, <laughs> but what how it, many tacos did you win? What's what's the ratio? Um, I was able to live while he stayed with me without buying a lot of food i'll say that much uh during evo i bought no food almost he paid for like all of my in and out because he kept I, double double I, I matching kept, yeah i kept, I kept food, food <laughs> and we we as, really as need to get Evo situated there, so i can just continuously fuck you up with my doc and that way i don't have to pay for anything outside a hotel Dude, you have to go to Trade. evo it's gonna be a journey <laughs> Tomorrow, you yes. Yeah, get yeah. your reg for it's sure. It's only cheap. thirty bucks, and, and I didn't get the day three yet because I don't know if I want to do that yet. So I'm, uh, sure. I'm just gonna cram my way in. Like alcohol is allowed in, so I'm just gonna like. You're just gonna try to get, sneak drunk, drunk, drunk and angle your way. Drunk, drunk, drunk I'm just, strong arm. Yeah, no, dude. I'm just gonna just get hammered until I have no, and just waltz in and just like. I don't know. They'd be like, just "Hey, start a sir, mosh pit." Like, "Hey, man, I don't know if you know this, but I'm getting in this venue today." And they're like, "All right, all right, I like your guts, kid." You that, that's this. way more like reasoning than I'd be capable of at that <laughs> point. It'd just be like, I'd pr- I'd probably try to concoct a story. Like, I'd try to tell him I'm Sonic Fox or some or whatever that one like Mortal Kombat player is, despite him being like a the small black man. <laughs> so. You know, you know uh, uh, also side detour. Uh, when uh, 
Marvel vs. Capcom was happening last year at Evo in top eight, the, they wouldn't let one of the top eight guys in, uh, the one of the <laughs> uh, casino employees, because like he didn't have a pass. But the, he was like arguing, like, no, I'm in top eight. Like I have to be. He had like his fight stick under, and he's like, I have to be in there. You have to let me in. He's like, no, no, no pass. Sorry. <laughs> God it's just like an you, immigrant, though. just like I have orders. I can't. I. Yeah, I don't care, Mister Mister Gamer Gamer World of Warcraft man. Gamer God man. <laughs> I see um, your little sticky of the fight fight. But anyway, the moral of the story is that I've I've lost so much by challenging people in uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. But the thing is, I still do it. Uh, like every every time I can, I. Uh, and he's way nicer to other people about it. Yeah. Well, you know what? You're. You're a cuck, for one. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> hey, you know what it is? It's the it's the fucking Ash Ketchum versus Gary Oak is what it is. It is, and but that- you know what sucks is I'm Gary. That's what pisses me <laughs> off. No, it's like I'm the not worst. the good guy. It's like a bootleg copy of like Pokemon Red where they fucked it up and instead it's of like Vietnamese Gary being the one who's always better than you, Gary's no, like, just this fucking like no, angry, yeah, yeah, yeah. sweaty guy. <laughs> no, and like Gary just, has like, like literally like level ninety nine Pidgeotos and you're like, dude, fuck this guy, man. Holy shit. Scotty, does anyone have you played with people uh who get more angry than Anthony does when he plays? Um, you know, at one time I might have said yes, but Genesis really really <laughs> opened my eyes to uh, a whole new spectrum. Of, uh, so of anger. Genesis was the genesis of mine and Scott's whatever you want to call it rivalry. We play a best of three. I've been talking shit on him since I moved here. I can't. I got here in September. I was like, bitch, I'm dank. I've been going to Mayhem's. I've been going to SS. I've been practicing with the boys. Yeti the God. I am so good at this game. You can't touch me just because I have access to better training. And Scott's like, yeah, yeah. I bet you are pretty good. And I'm like, shut up. I'm better than you. <laughs> It's just classic. You had a response in mind before he said anything. You just assumed yeah. he shit talked about. He's like, "Yeah, you're probably better." You know what, you fucker? I'll take you up on that. Money match. <laughs> this only happens when we talk about melee. By the way, Scott and I are friends. We talk about a lot of things, and it's very normal. But for some reason, when it comes to melee, I just I can't help but just call him names. I it's a miracle he puts up with me. So what happened at Genesis? So I was like, all right, bitch, let's fucking go, dude. And so we do best of five. Uh, what was it? You have to recall it. I can't remember anything except the last match. Oh, yeah. Match. So um, I'm going to preface this. This is $5 money match, by the way. It's not, but it's not about the money. Big money. You. It's a $5 money match. There's four people in the hotel. We have wonderful Alex from New Jersey, who he was really is good. the god um, of our room, Turtle. And then some wonderful, wonderful soul. I forget his name, but he was the gentlest soul I've ever met. <laughs> and then Anthony. But anyway, I'm going to preface this by the fact that it was after the finals. It was after Genesis finals. <laughs> we were we were all a little shaky. I might have been drinking a 40. Like <laughs> we, we just weren't in tip-top shape. I don't care what Anthony Fuck says. You, we're going to argue. Here it comes. I'm, <laughs> this I'm is so condescending. I hate when I'm he does this. It's like that Smash Twitter account. Yeah, dude, we were both playing really bad. Fuck you, dude. It doesn't matter if we were both playing bad. Okay. You won. So, so I won, but okay. Uh, first game, we I go Marth, because um, I know how much he just despises the Marth. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, and I beat him. He beats me game two. Game three. Oh, yeah, he, I forgot. He goes... I went Falcon. I don't know what... He ends up going Falcon against I went Falcon me, on FD. Because so. it's like, fuck it, let's go. <sighs> and it's a matchup <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fairly confident in nowadays. Uh... But yeah, I'll definitely, you know, I labbed it out, and I destroyed him. And then we have one more game, <laughs> FOD. And, uh, you know, my Marth wasn't doing too hot, and Wait, I wasn't so feeling you three, you three won to me? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it was game five. Oh, you're right. Okay. So something else pull happened, pull the game. but he didn't pull out Sheik. I was expecting a Sheik. We strike the FOD, or he, or I, or he, he just picks FOD, it's best of five. And I'm like, here comes a Sheik, I'm fucking ready. He goes, Falco. I go Falco. Falco's, For those that don't know, Falco's Anthony, my character. His character. He's in love with him, and I, I've, I've told him, I'm like, hey, I've kind of been fooling around with Falco on Netplay in 20XX. So what do I say? Through. What do I say when you tell me that shit? Fuck you. <laughs> what do I say, Scott? I don't even. I just kind of zone you out, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. <laughs> it's very rude, not nice things. <laughs> anyway. But uh, yeah, so we play a game. Um, he's up. He he takes the first stock. I'm like, oh shit, this might have been bad. Um, I'm slowly just like, blah blah blah. Shit goes down. Comes down to last stock. Uh, 
I like to down throw as Falco. It's my stupid tech chase. Just down option. throw, down tilt, and I yell at him. I actually paused the game once. I was like, don't do down throw, down tilt anymore. <laughs> and I did it again, and he actually quit. But anyway, oh, yeah. so... I was like, I'm going to quit the game if you do that again, and then I did. <laughs> he left. He just he didn't talk to me. So we're, we're in here. It's Where like... are you on the spectrum, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> go on it's, it's last it's like uh, it might not be lasted but it's last stock and i get a, a decent little shine combo i get him to i gra- get a grab on the ledge and all, all <laughs> the whole set the whole set up and like down throwing and he texts away from the ledge i down throw i run to the middle of the stage charge down smash is that what it, happened i literally yeah. don't remember yeah you that's exactly i just like i i know he's gonna tech in charge down smash he's 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 donezo and i'm like okay because anthony before this said there will be no more salt in his words i screen capped it it's a real thing i have in my phone he said he's changed man he's good now I am. he uh i look I, I turn my head he stands up i have never seen such a beautiful controller throw in my life it's, it was over it was overhead it was good form it I wasn't it like hard. down it was like it was like a first pitch like when they're yeah. fresh yeah it totally just like hit uh threw it really hard really hard it hit like whatever the crt was on the like the the desk and then he um storms out I just he left the leaves hotel the room. hotel room where'd and you I'm go just, where'd you go i where did you go I so we were at the Ramada at San Jose. I literally just walked back and forth among the balcony because we were on the second floor for like a half hour. Just <laughs> oh my god! Just angrily <laughs> fucking walking back and forth. I want to see the person who sees Anthony doing that and thinks, "What the fuck did this guy just do?" Like, and I was what? just like nodding my head and just like lost in like pure rage. Like, pretty sure the hotel employees like were getting worried. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they're, I'm about to jump for like, what's going on? Here? Mental patient. <laughs> <laughs> it, I totally, was, and it was raining, so I was out there. It wasn't like raining because oh there, there was a, there was an awning, so it's not like it was getting wet, but it was it was storming out there. But so, a lot of that time was me like trying to steal my nerves to come back in because it was really embarrassing and i was like god damn it i have to go i have to go in there and apologize to everybody which i did i walked back in <laughs> well, i i did not get an apology no i didn't apologize head. to you i oh, came no. i came in and i said guys i'm really sorry for my actions that was very inappropriate and then that's all and then i sat down and we started playing again and it was awkward the trailer wasn't broken no it's actually st- it's still here dude I hit it on the right spot. They make the build those things like fucking Cadillacs. So here's issues. my part of it. He walks out, and I'm like, honestly, kind of, I feel bad. I'm like, I. He told me this wouldn't happen. You so should have. You played Falco. Okay, in your word, <laughs> it just matters who wins. Okay, so anyway, it's true. Well, Alex, anyway, we'll get to that. But Al- <laughs> uh, Alex, <laughs> our wonderful Alex, the Marth player, looks at me. He's like, "Don't worry, it's not your fault. You're better than him." And I was like, <laughs> "He said oh. that. He oh. literally said that to mm-hmm. justify." the cuck that you are and then uh (laughs) you're out there doing your thing and i'm just like okay you know what i'm gonna go to bed so i just lay there and i don't play melee the rest of the night because Mm -hmm. i'm just like i don't want to hurt you know what i'm good i'm just gonna lay here i've done too much damage already he says his thing he lays next to me he looks at me he's like why'd you go falco yeah you know I, i was i was thinking about going fox but you know, I played a lot of Falco today in the friendlies room at Genesis. So, you know, and he's just like, you should have gone Fox. You have a Sheik. And I was like, I felt like Falco. And he's like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. And uh, heard that, heard that. Like, I don't think that Scott's impression does it as much justice as it should because that fuck you, dude, is like a very pivotal point of their relationship. It's venomous. Like, it, it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like a very genuine, like, fuck you, dude. And I, lo- I honestly, coming from a kid who gets angry at the game as well, that is a very, like, satisfying feeling. Like, when so, you say that, even if you get shit on, like, for some reason, that anger, like, <laughs> no reason to ask a question with an answer no, where I mean, you know it you're gonna give it. It, it doesn't feel good, like, I, but, like... Not in, like, a way where you're proud of yourself, but, no, it's, like, for some reason, your body valve. is, like... It's a it, valve exactly. or something. But, like, so, I'm still, to this day, I'm still, like, I, I think it was BM of Scott to go Falco. I still think that because he plays like such a lame shithead. Like 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 light shield on platforms, like all this lame shit. And then he goes and picks the character where it's like it's cool not to do that stuff. <laughs> and but he beats me. And so when I when I when everything calmed down and when I got over it like a stupid little baby 
I said in my mind, I was like, that's it. Like, the the war is over. Like, Scott is better. That's all there is to it. He beat me with my own character on Game 5 of a very long-awaited money match, and that's the end. And so, like, it, it was really good for me to be able to come to terms with that and be like, well, fuck, dude. It's just, that's just the way it goes. That was, that was your come-to-God moment? That was my come to God. That was my uh, meet the goddess moment. That was number. Um, four, number we five didn't talk video. for a couple days. Our friends started a group here in town called Serious Melee to like talk about melee. Anthony says, "You know what? Scott's in this group. I don't want to talk to him anymore." Later. Yeah. No. I just said I don't. I don't talk to Scott about melee. <laughs> <laughs> and then left the group. And just so you know, while he's like strolling around outside, he posts something in our SoCal chat with uh, our homies in Riverside. He's like, "Scott beat me with Falco." Um, I'm quitting the game, but he posted it to the wrong chat and I saw it oh. and I was just like, he would have saw it anyway, but yeah. yeah, I would have seen it anyway, but he posted that and I just was like, Oh my God, he's going to quit the game. We didn't so talk Scott, for a you couple live, days. You live in Riverside? Uh, I mean, that's where I was born. Oh, okay. Okay. So I just have a family house there. Go back once in a while. So uh, yeah. Um, maybe that, that's like, that's, that's the saga really. And I, I mean, it may not. Oh sound- no. It gets worse. Here's the thing. Anthony and I are good now. He he sent me, he's like, you know, PayPal me the money minus the $5 from the money match. Yeah. Bless his soul because he spotted me I'm when a, he gets I'm the a, Genesis. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> love, love the boy. But um, what what the story doesn't tell is Anthony's attitude and because he was kind of like the cool older dude that tried to like go swag with Melee, inspired all the players here, here in this little town. Oh, yeah. This, even, is, this even is the epilogue the that I'm not part of. Even Doof the boy kind of Let's holds go. his his salt. Like I played I played Doof at Evo and I was playing Falco against God. him there and beating him because he he doesn't know how to wave dash out of shield. I just f smash the little boy. It's fine. It's, he tries uh, to jump out of shield. He f smashes me no matter what I do. I'm the biggest. I like tank f smashes. Like it's my team. <laughs> <Yeah. being>. uh, <laughs> legit. You could play like Ness and get get that it. bat if hard. Melee were like a fi- If melee were like a moba, that would be your role. Is you just Gosh. be the frontliner who would just eat oh, F smash? Yeah. But anyway, I want Scott yeah. to finish this story. This story is important to my being. <laughs> yeah. So like, he, Anthony's inspired a lot of like the younger players and new players just because I apparently play a very lame way, which I like to think of. You know, I just play a solid neutral. I don't try to go all ham. Anthony's gonna di- disagree. We'll deal with that. But I disagree. anyway, here in this town, I had to I had to make do with what I have and playing the kids here that are just they're not Pretty they're good. not as good. And so I'm playing with them, and they just love to like rag on me, like Anthony would back in the day. And they, I've never addressed it because I didn't have to because I had Anthony. But now that Anthony's gone, I have to play these kids. I have to if I'm feeding. Like if net play in this town, I get like 60 ping with like anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter if it's next door, whatever. It's awful. So it it eventually comes up like so one of them like we're we're talking about going bowling. We're talking about real life shit. Like hey, you know what? Let's get the friends to go bowling. I'm like yeah, I'm I'm down, guys. We're like. Are you gonna laser camp the pins? Are you gonna <laughs> Are you gonna f smash the pins? And I was just like, I was done. I was just like, I was oh, so done. Cause one, I don't even play so a bad. Falco. I don't even play a Falco. <laughs> I, I sandbag versus these little like West Slope like guys. Cause I I just don't want them to hate me forever. But nope, it still happens. So I was just like, I'm done. So I told them all. Next time I like individually, I was like, you know what? I'm only going to F smash you and I'm like, I'll, I'll beat you and you're going to you're going to quit. You're going to quit the game. It's fine. I told Eric I will literally do everything you hate. And he's like, I'm never going to invite you over again. I was like, that's fine, dude. He starts talking shit and he's like, "You know what? We just tolerate you." And I was I just told him to to fuck shit, off. Shit got real. <laughs> yeah, I was just I was like, "Tolerate you, dude." Like <laughs> I Welcome to Colorado. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, yeah, exactly. It's like the shitters feel entitled here because of how the community works, especially in the smaller towns. I'm not saying the whole just for the like record. Oh, sorry, I just want to say, just for the record, I am not part of this group that he is talking about. I did not. No, shit he is Scotty. not. It's, it's Scotty's Grand my Junction, boy. Grand Junction, Colorado. All the PM, all the melee players here that know me, I'm talking about you. <laughs> you know who you are. They don't listen Love. anyway. They say they listen, but I know they don't listen. <laughs> yeah, they're shitters. And uh, so yeah, I just called them out, and they like one of them even apologized. Because he doesn't hate with his heart or conviction, and I do, yeah. and I just didn't respond. I was like, "No, dude, <laughs> you're done." But Anthony did that. He like made everyone in this town think like the way I play is appropriate. So like I would land, I would do like a double fair combo, and like I would just finish it off with a tipper. And then they're like, "Oh, there's the F smash." And I'm like, "Dude, you just you just got like zero to death, and you're you're somehow talking shit to me." <laughs> yeah, I don't and, understand this world. And like you know, that's my fault. <laughs> that is my fault. And that, and. Like, 
ladies and gentlemen, this is what salt can do. Salt, if you're an influential person like me in a small town, if you're salty, people will adopt your salt. People will follow your lead because that's... No, that, that's seriously, that's what Colorado is. Is because like just about every single like individual place within Colorado, Fort Collins, Boulder, Mines, uh, Slope, whatever... They all kind of like grew up on their own and had like one or two players that define it. And you can see just based on the players that started like the scenes there and like kept it going, how they each have their personalities and they're all shit and they all suck. <laughs> they're all assholes. <laughs> that is the embodiment of Griffin on the Colorado Stars. Right there. It's just they're, just, just, they're just bad. They're, I'm not saying I'm good. People always misconstrue that. They're like, you think you're better? No, I just think you guys suck. I also suck. But. <laughs> You suck more. <laughs> Even though we aren't Yo, quite I, there. I don't, I don't want to say that it's Colorado. I think it's endemic to smaller communities. It is. Yeah, no, I, 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 I said small towns. Town. You, you don't, you don't think I'm, so? I'm semi-familiar with Midwestern scenes, especially in the smaller states, having come from Iowa and Kansas. Uh, not like that. Beca- it, it, it literally is Colorado. It's the type of people that live in Colorado. <laughs> hey, I will marry I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Anthony was so salty. I actually have salt tattooed on my finger. I have N A C L. Not that a is joke. Truth. That is true. Tattooed on my fingers. I'm being a hundred percent on it. It's tattoos. a real thing. Yeah. Like I showed up. One I respected day, like, that you get so that? much. No, I didn't say that at all. I was like, oh, no, you're like, you're like, what's that? Like, what is it? And I was like, it's salt. And you're like, oh my god. And he loved it. I loved he respected it. it. I respected it. It was post controller so throw. It was great. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I keep that now to remember in my heart. Like that's not who I am. Don't become a Bruno, an old Bruno. I'm so glad I can like be that guy for you and like maybe other people. <laughs> You're a lesson. Like, You're a bad example. I'm a fucking like, lesson. Yeah, okay, like a shitty older brother that the parents are like, look at your fuck up older brother. <laughs> Do you, you want to be like him? Huh? <laughs> Living in a fucking studio, fucking <laughs> smoking weed all day, no job. Hey, you have a roommate. He's lovely. Yeah. Okay. From what I've heard, he's a forty. Year old, hitting on him. He's forty year old gay man. He's he is lovely. <laughs> is he forty? <laughs> yeah. He's he's really nice. He's um, very supportive, okay. Anthony. Every time he carries a CRT, he offers the you know you can get an LCD, bud. I got mad at him. <laughs> I actually got mad at him. I was like, dude, I've told you like a hundred times why I need a CRT. Like, there's input lag, John. <laughs> All right. Sorry. What you said about mines reminds me why I stopped going to tournaments. Here is the the most recent shield. I think it was a shield breaker that I went to. It may have been sixty gore, but uh. Mine's like mine's best players all came up for it, and uh, I got third at the tournament, third or fourth. Um, and over the course of the tournament, I beat three of the five best player in mines, eliminated two of them, or no, 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 beat one in winners, beat another in losers, and then beat another in pools. And we had the the fucking the crew battle with them later on. Me and Trey were the only ones to do our job and get more than, like, go even or, like, go even or higher. And we ended up getting shit fucked because the other three players shit the bed. Uh, and Mines was like, Fort Collins sucks. Griffin, you suck. And I was like, I beat you guys in bracket. They're like, faggot. And I'm like, I hate this place. God <laughs> damn it. I was supposed then, to be on their crew battle because apparently I can only be on the closest town. And that's where it started because I was like, hey, can I be part of your crew? And they're like, you have to beat our best players. So I, I know what you're feeling. They just I, they attacked me because oh I'm a nobody. I'm useless. <laughs> I had only two people back me up in the world, and it's great. They had little middle school kids backing me up. Like, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll put $20 oh on them. Oh. I, I have a money match with some little 14-year-old. I have no idea who he is. No idea. But he, he's so, is it Sean so sure. No. <laughs> he's so sure I'm a shitter that he was willing to, to put his money on the line versus me. I hate like, this place. I hate it so much. <laughs> Oh man! All right, so we're we're hitting a, a clean podcast. hour. Uh, so I think we, we should wrap this up. But um, I want to close with saying, for one, Scott, for all of my transgressions and my transgressions, just a couple days ago, actually last night uh, when we played on NetPlay, I told, <laughs> <laughs> I told you to fuck yourself. I'm sorry. And it's not fair. Until the next time I tell you to fuck yourself. In no. Which case, fuck yourself, no. Scotty. It's not fair for people that act like I do to treat anyone that way, especially if they're, like, friends, because Scott has become a very good friend of mine because of Melee. And I kind of shit all over that just because I can't control uh, my anger in the game, and that's not fair. Like I said, with other people, 
I'm pretty decent. I'm pretty good. I don't quit out anymore. Even I'm fucking. I'm Gucci, dude. It's you know what I just thought of? You know what I just thought of, Anthony? What? It is very fortunate for you and I that we have this bad melee thing as a uniting force. Because I just realized I would fucking hate you <laughs> otherwise. I don't. Because you, you are Colorado Smash. You main Falco. You get yep. pissed off. Yep. You bitch and moan about players for yeah, playing lame. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying so hard to not be that person. Like, you have no <laughs> idea would, how much I, I don't want to be. I would take the time to find that out. I Griffin. would scrape off the surface, yes. Set the yes. scene. Revelations 2. Your buddy just lose, loses pools. Oh, you sit down to play you some fucking friendlies. son of a bitch. I can't believe you did this. I lose <laughs> in my pool. I lose to Keo because he's really good. I'm like, fuck, I lost in my pool. I didn't make it out. It sucks. I'm mad. Right? Shouts out to Keo. Because we, we drove all this way. and I, I Boulder's pretty cool. I like Boulder, actually. Yeah. So I sit down with Scott to play a friendly, and he starts fucking chain grabbing me. And I just quit <laughs> out. Because I'm like, what the fuck, He, he unplugs dude? his controller. He unplugs his controller, leaves. I have to play some unknown Ganon player for the next 30 minutes. I, was, I, I, watched, I watched some of this Scott versus Ganon guy. And like this. And no offense, this guy was getting the dick from your boy Scott over there, <laughs> dude, for like 30 minutes of just like Scott. I was watching Scott just thwomp this guy. But. Yeah, and so I was like, that That was the kind of thing that it. it's like I have this bias constructed of like Scott's like identity. Like he's this fucker that just is the reason for all of my like problems inside of my heart. But like that's not true and You're I, a hypocrite. And I You, you I just don't... you talk about West Ball shitting on conventional notions of what human beings should do. And then you call Scotty a douchebag for chain grabbing you after you lose. Or playing because, Falco against him. Yeah, because you should be expected to be nice to me after I lost. Right. That's my flaw, right? And I, I that is wrong. I sh- I don't I, I don't subscribe to that idea anymore. If Scott did that now, maybe I would still get mad because it's because it's Scott and I have just like. <laughs> but like, the, I've changed, but not my too much my yet. super ego is telling me no. Like, come on, you're supposed to be trying to get better. This is good. Like, if you got grabbed, you should be getting changed. All this shit. Like, so and that id. I I don't condone <laughs> the cunt that I am. He he is working on it. I will say there was a moment where he's like. You know what? You never, you never don't try. Because I, I take seriously because I have very few friendlies. I take them, I take them serious. So and he, he gave me shit for that, and I was like, we were having a taco match, and I was taking it easy. He quit the game and gave me shit because I was sandbagging and not actually playing my heart <laughs> out, and I just didn't know what to do. I was like, um. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, go walk the dog. Yeah, you're, and damned, I you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. With people, <laughs> with people like me, you can't win, and that's not. If you're like this, dude, try as hard as you can to stop this behavior. It's just like breaking a bad habit of melee. Stop rolling in. Stop lasering from the ledge. Stop being an asshole because it's just so much better when you're like not <laughs> like that. So that's my like moral sort of horror story is that i'm fortunate enough that scott's the kind of person that for some reason tolerates that shit and uh he just likes to play melee a lot with me scott's scott's a cool guy and I miss so that, guy. that is the bad melee podcast and so just hold your smash friends close because they might be the only ones you got guys real talk um go kill yourselves uh don't <laughs> forward smash hey uh no no, no. go sd you gotta, <laughs> gotta keep it germane there you go <laughs> all right good night